Greetings, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 12 of my run through of U Boat. Picking up a wee while after we left off last time out, so I'm trying to get ahead of a freighter that's heading for the port of Bergen so that they can get into a firing position on it, and then we're going to head into Bergen to check out the air defences. And then, all being well, try and nurse the batteries and the diesel to get us back down to Willemshaven. We've completed our, our patrol, still get the optional. Uh, objective of sinking 4,000 tons worth of enemy shipping um, and as I said the uh, mission to check out the air defences so anyway let's get ourselves to a stop periscope depth and do I need to get Dresky out his bunk he's off uh, opening the valves just now Fast forward. Alright, ready for surface observations and desk is in bed. Right, up you get. Listening room please, see if we can pick up this freighter. Do I need to give you, hopefully we don't. At um, the end of the last part I worked out an interception course. Uh, a bit of estimation in it in terms of the freighter's speed. But the hope is that we get this freighter at CC1 should be what I'm looking for. It's not in the best position. I was hoping it'd be more like 270. But it looks like it's still close. Uh, CC1. Yeah, so it's off in that direction, but can't see it because of the, the seas. There it is, just for the masts. Okay. What sort of distance are we talking? Come on, show me. Uh, oh, is it? All oh, right, okay. So 10 to 16 miles, depending which ship we're looking at. 308 and 332. Right, let's get back to the surface and let's do some running. We are at, what, coming up on 1700 hours. So if I can avoid being detected and run ahead of them, uh, we might get into a firing position. Uh, but, so it's almost due north of this. Let's check out. So, 330, yeah. I think we'll try and run for something like that. Okay. Uh, so let's bring you right to, say, five degrees. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, okay. Tell you what, make it zero three. Well, that'll do. <laughs> we're close enough. Uh, we're on the surface where we should be belting along at 12 knots now. Uh, cancel that. I want to get rid of this. Right. Uh, let's scoot round. See if we can see it clearly on the surface. Hang on, there was a ship at 308, but I don't think it's close enough for us to see. Uh, over the horizon. And you're at 329. Oh, we're going to get spotted. Probably. Depends what time dusk comes down. Okay, we need to run for a while. Uh, let's give us, see, up to 1700. And have another look. It's 327 still. And the bearing should be open then. 
let's go for 10 minutes. Yeah, we've been on the surface for a while, pal. Can uh, somebody? Okay, Graf, come down. And see if we can work out a range. Schumann, could you? Jump into Siegfried, yeah. Uh, jump into the listening room. There it is. And you give me an estimate as well. Right, we're on 1.5 times magnification. Now, let's lock up the ship and let's go for distance. Somewhere around there, maybe. Just an estimate, one anyway. Um, identify the ship. It's uh, an explorer, is it? Not a bell. No, it's not a bell. It's an explorer. It looks like it's got a raised stern. A bit like that, but it's got the three masts. So it recognises the explorer. Try the distance again. At wrong keys. So it looks like it's about four kilometres away. And Schumann, what are you telling me? You can't pick it up. Oh, because we're on the surface, of course. My apologies, Schumann. Uh, let's get you. Stop what you're doing. Just go back to your normal work. Right. I think we're going to run for 15 minutes, roughly. Yeah, the ships at battle stations, that's fine. Right. We're not at alarm or detected. Low discipline. Go and beat some discipline into them. I... Yeah, so where are we at now? There we are. And obviously the sun is beginning to go down. Don't look at the sun through binoculars, that's a bad idea. Yeah, we know it's coming. Uh, is it zigzagging? Doesn't look like it. Oh, hang on, is it turning towards me now? You know, it's just that I'm pulling my head off it. it. Made it look like the angle between these two poles was increasing. Right, another fifteen minutes. you in behind there. Uh, that's not what to do. We're at 213. Let's get back up to you. Uh, yeah, it's down in there somewhere. Which ain't helpful. You can see it there. Let's try that again. Why are my binoculars not working? There we are. Taking any invasive maneuvers. Two and oh. Let's submerge. Auf Zero-Tiefe. I wonder if it's going to head for the south end of this island here. In fact, 
make your depth 4 meters so that I can get decent observations. And we're on 2 and 5. So it seems to be actually staying pretty steady. There it is. Four meters is making no difference at all. Oh, raise the scope, you clown. Don't cough. Ten meter. What? Uh, okay. Let's zoom all the way in. See if we can get now again. Let's lock up. Check distance again. Slightly further away, but that should give us time. I'm wondering about plotting a course, but I don't want to do that. That's overkill, I think, at this point. One six. So it steps over down in here. Okay, come left. Heading two seven zero. Kurs zwei sieben null Grad. And half a head. Halbe Fahrt voraus. Stop directors, I don't know why you're in TDC. Um, we're two six five still. Okay. We are you bearing yet? Why don't I look? Not yet. Getting there. Should be actually we're heading right into the sunset. I don't think that's good enough. We're too far. Let's come right to two eight five. Course two eight six. Grad. Two eight six. Good enough. Load periscope, and I think we'll get down to say, 30 meters and run in and flank. Okay, I don't need this line anymore. 15 meter. So I don't want to run for too long before taking another observation. Let's go for 10 minutes until 1800. Get back up to give me 4 meters again. That's not good. How did you get that far in front of us? Okay, come right to zero. F uh, let's come up to three three five. Course three three five grad. Twenty meter. This is obviously estimates because why are you on the radio? You should be in the listening station. Never mind. Ah, you're on the uh, listening station. Graph. 5 to 10. Only 5 to 10 cables, it's come right over us. Shhh. Oh, we're at, what, we're at 30 to 5 now. It's all over the place. Or somebody's all over the place. Uh, Graph, get on the attack periscope. Okay. 
quick to know. CC4, uh, there are two, 287, that's 287 I think is the one that I'm after. Hopefully. What depth are we at? Tauchen auf 5 meter. Meter. meters, please, thank you. Tauchen auf fünf meter. Okay, you're not going to f uh, f f veer, I'm going to fove. What we at? CC6. I oh, know, CC6. Empire Homer, I think that is our erstwhile target. It is. What's the other ship? 285. It's uh, beyond our visual range. Okay, uh, back to the target, right. Okay, let's see what the distance is then. Uh, lock again, distance now to target. What a much more accurate bearing this time. Okay, a thousand meters. Uh, dial that in and get uh, to alarm. Angle on the bow is going to be if it stays in that course, of course. Uh, give me an angle on the bow. That's right. Uh, maybe see. Say 115. Don't be super nickety. 115. That'll do. Set. Aktualisieren. Velocity. Yeah, we better measure velocity if best we can. Uh, we need to come to a halt for that though. Alle Maschinen stop! It's turning away. Damn it. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, this is not helping waves. I'm wondering if it's going to turn back towards us. Let's try and get the velocity anyway. Or an estimate of it. Probably I would have th thought about nine knots or ten. Yeah, we're not going to get that shot. Eight knots. I'm going to overrule that and say nine. Aktualisieren. Geschwindigkeit nine. Knoten. Let's come right to due north. Kurs drei. Jawohl, Herr Kalon. Nine. Grad. Kurs drei. Fünf. Nine. Grad. Kurs null. Grad. Yes. Know the scope for now. And it's I've forgotten. Thirteen, twelve, thirteen, yeah, so it's about there and it's yeah, it's heading north. I must be trying to avoid us. I'm going to come right to say zero six zero. And we'll again, try and intercept it somewhere up around here. Plenty of batteries. Uh, let's disable the alarm, stop direct orders. And 
the ship is bearing 303. 296, 295. Okay, half, uh, half ahead. Can I get a commander on the periscope, please? Rigar, you're the most rested. What time are we at? 1606. Uh, 1606. Graf, you're supposed to be on duty. And you are now. Right. Ship bearing 200 so Still heading. Um, in the same sort of direction. What are we at for the other one? 200. No. It's not something we need to concern ourselves with. You, my friend. Okay, still seems to be, so it's somewhere over there, yeah, it's definitely heading north, and I am, um, I've come far too far south, get back to 030, no 015 actually. Ship's bearing 301. Okay, let's run at that for a while. Fact, it says it's head of us. Yeah, it is, and it's still heading away. Come right. Let's carry on like this for up until 6.30. Smoke detect. That's probably an yeah, Empire Homer getting further from us. Okay. Give me 30 minutes. Hundred. We're at now three five four, so it's beta's not changing that much. It's still heading in the same general direction. Right, where are we then? Give me our current heading I think we stay on that course if they're no, if they're, they are heading that general direction let me see it's 56.2 miles to that point it's uh, 62 miles ish up to there. I was just wondering if we could undercut them and come up that direction. But I don't want to try and sink a ship in here. I've never tried sinking a ship that close to land. I don't know if there are patrol boats or coastal defences or anything. Anyway, I need, and I should have. Uh, two sailors. In here. Reduce our energy usage. And I'm going to come right just a couple more degrees. And then we're going to run for 
another 15-ish minutes. What are we at? 351. Okay. Surface the boat, run at maximum speed. Uh, for. I think let's up. Quintel 1945. Quite ominous. And. Can we find it? Let's look straight ahead because it should be over here. I think I glanced at it. There it is. Okay. And if we're doing 12 knots, they're still doing, say, 9. We should also be able to get into a firing position. So let's see. Right, it is changing. The is changing quite a bit. Or it was changing quite a bit. Okay, another 15 minutes. I don't want to interact with it. Well, I do, in a sense. It's dropped back. Oh, yeah, it has. Okay, uh, periscope depth. Uh, leave position. Come on. Leave the position. I want to get back in here. I want to get down to half speed for now. And I want to get to red light and get to set the alarm. Try and get into fire firing position. Right, you can stop the alarm, thank you. Right, what we have to eight three. Lock it up one more time and damn it. Bring me up to fünf meters. Please and thank you. I need to recognize it again as the explorer. Let's go ahead and set the velocity. Should, uh, no, stop. Damn it. No, forget, 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 forget. We're just going to estimate the speed. Stay on half ahead. Uh, velocity, let's say, 8 knots. Uh, at 10 meters. Let's set the angle on the bow here as 90. Aktualisieren. Winkel. Bug rechts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, distance. It's a bit difficult to judge. This is so fittery, as we see. I'm going to use that. An estimate is fine, I think. Right. Okay, do we have a maintained torpedo? It looks like we don't. Let's flood the tube anyway. And what did I say? CC0. Tube one flooded. Alright. So let's go for now. Four. A while to go. But hopefully we'll get this for too much longer. Bearing is closing slowly. 
let's check just in case I've changed direction doesn't look like it looks fairly st no actually 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 Uh, oh damn it, I didn't want to do that. I was trying to zoom. I don't know that the angle on the bow is going to be anything like 90 degrees. I think we take the shot early. Let's see. Let's just go for it. got to be around there. Uh, let's sit uh, angling about here. It's going to be say 105. Lage Alright. Keep an eye on it just in case it does zig back towards us. Speed away at half ahead. Slowly getting there. I don't think we're still at the same sort of distance. I'm going to bring this down to. 150 meters. Aktualisieren. Entfernung. 1, 2, 5, 0 meter. Okay. <laughs> I want to just move the scope to the left and press fewer. But we need to wait. Be patient. Right, that's actually on it. Los! Okay. Let's come right to say zero eight, uh, zero seven five. Course seven, five grad. And flank. Tension, tension. It's the torpedo not halfway yet. I wish there was a an action cam. I'm not very good at jumping out periscope, finding the torpedo, especially in the dark. And I think I've got type Two is think about electric torpedoes, so it's even more difficult to tr find them and track them because there's no steam uh, wake. Did you fire the torpedo? The torpedo is off high Thank you. Okay, let's come forward. I don't know if I've got any left. I do. Let's take ones now. Forty seconds. Still forty seconds. It seems to run quicker than that, and I suppose I could fast forward a bit. But anticipation is half the fun of the game. Twenty seconds. And I bet you this is something like 3,950 tons. It wouldn't get me the objective. I could maybe sink another ship on the way back if that's the case. Oh, okay. oh no. My bad. Okay. Can we... Estimate that a bit better. 
torpedo is a dud. Ah, well, it's not quite well. It's potentially still on me for um, not getting the angle right. I can't actually see where the mast is. It's in here. Somewhere. Let's use that. Say 2,000 metres. Let's disable the alarm, stop direct orders, get back about your normal business. And I think I'm going to put a break in here and we'll give this another go in the next part. It's been a long run after this freighter. It better be worth it in the end. Of course nobody's looking through the scope. 263. So, 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 so. I don't know. I think we need to hedge bets. Okay, I think that's take that sort of course just in case the ship does decide to come in south of this island. Um, but we'll find that out in the next part. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.